Good morning everybody out there. Um, it's Saturday morning. Roxanne prepared us a scrumptious uh, chorizo and egg with uh, with uh, tater tots in it. Uh, burritos. And then uh, today we're heading to Reno. Taking Crockett for a walk this morning. Look how beautiful it is here. That's the 395 right there, and you can't see it through the trees, but Mono Lake's right over. Oh, it's pulling on me. It's right over there behind those trees. So we're going to be heading up that way toward Reno. Don't know how much stuff there is to do there on the way, but we'll find some stuff to do, or at least visit, check out some things. Poor couple right there in that uh, Cruise America RV are from Germany and they're kind of stuck here. They were dumping their gray water or black water or whatever and he wanted to add more water and he accidentally put a bunch of water in the fuel tank. And nobody will help them. Uh, there's nothing I can do. I looked underneath there to see if there was a drain because the water is heavier than the gas. But uh, Ford didn't put a drain on those plastic tanks. Come on, Crockett. And I helped him call a bunch of places. I even called uh, two Ford dealerships and uh, asked them if they could to, uh, take it in if they have it towed there. And every one of them said, no, they don't have, they're booked up solid for over a week. And I'm like, don't you guys take walk-ins? Emergency walk-ins? No, we don't. Oh, it's a by appointment only. I'm like, wow. So I'm, I'm not sure what they're going to do. They, they called Cruise America, and Cruise America won't help them. Very sad. All right, come on, Crockett. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, smells a lot of stuff here. No? You want to head back? Guess we're heading back. It's a nice sprinter. Roxanne's going to do some laundry, and I'm going to get the van all situated. We're going to be heading out. All right, everyone. We are heading toward Reno. Now, if we see anything interesting on the way, because we're not sure. We've never been this far north yet, except for the Bodhi. Uh, we'll stop and uh, see what's going on there. If it's interesting enough, we'll show you. Right. Well, not Bodhi, because we've already been there. No, Bodhi, you'll see. You'll see that. It's already been done. We did that. Probably going to be a whole uh, episode just on Bodhi. It was so much to see there. So, um, we're going to be heading, like I said, toward Reno. Um, so, let's go. Have some fun. We're going to stop and have lunch here at Topaz Lake in Nevada. Well. Oh, yeah. I wonder if part of the lake is in California and parts in Nevada. Topaz Lake, Nevada. More like a reservoir. Hey, looky who's coming out of the van. All right, Roxanne's having some healthy bread. I don't know what that is, low calories. Sandwich thins. Sandwich thins, apple, Pringles, and 
celery and peanut butter and I'm having a regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm -hmm. Same thing. And Crockett just devoured his treat. So we're sitting here at Topaz Lake. And we're just mm -hmm. gonna sit here and watch some of these boats and eat some lunch, kill some time. Cause we're by we're about an hour, a little over an hour away from Reno. And we're waiting for family to come up. They rented a uh, a house up there for a couple of days and they're still um, quite a ways away. All right, well, let's enjoy this lunch, baby. This is Carson. No, it's no? Car no, Gardnerville or something. Oh, it's not Carson? Gardnerville. Gardnerville, Nevada. Kind of reminds you of Old Town Clovis, for those of you who know what that is back home. Driving through Minden now, which is just north of Gardnerville. Another cute little town. Lots of casinos. Yeah. Of course, this is Nevada. Yeah. yeah. It's really, I mean, a clean. Look yes. at that, 474 for regular. I like small towns like these. All right, folks, we made it to Reno. Yay! Everybody's here almost. Almost. This is Brett. This is Junko. Mommy. Mommy. Say hi to everyone. Hi. 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 Okay. All right, we're still waiting on two more sisters here. So uh, we're going to settle in, have some fun with family. And we'll be back on the road. Uh, Probably Monday morning. See you guys. Okay, so after Cabela's, we're now we're heading to Target, pick up supplies, and then we'll be uh, heading out of town. Look at that sweet Mustang. Nevada. Um, 
there is an old ghost town, the Berlin ghost town, or the ghost town of Berlin. We just passed it. We'll show you on the way out. We're just going to go up and look at these fossils now. Um, up the road here a bit. It's not very bumpy or, or potholy, this road. It's actually pretty smooth for a gravel road. Looks like they have a campground here, too. They got tables and uh, vault toilets. Now this is, I think, the day use area. Oh, it's just day use? Not yeah, camp, they've not camp camping? Ground, the campground was over back that way. It was an old mine on the left. of marine animals? Uh, Dinosaurs? The marine? ichthyosaur? You know the one with the long beak? Oh, that one. I think I caught one of those one time off Baja, Mexico. Just kidding. Uh, well, yeah, I would hope so. Do not remove fossils or artifacts. Oh, well, look at, let's oh, look leave. At Oh, the paper's on the way. <laughs> Are you serious? That's it's what it focusing. looks like, or that's a, what it should have looked like back then. Okay. So should be fossils. I don't think they're going to let Crockett in here. So. so I might have to take turns going in. Yeah. You can go in first. Over here and see what this says. We are here. Uh, this looks like there's some lots of hiking involved in this. Well, it looks like we're not getting in there because it's only open on the weekends, but there's supposed to be some windows. That's one big fish. Yeah, the reflection on there is pretty bad. All right, let's go see if we can get through the get through the windows. I see A right there, and that says A is part of his skull or his jaw. Be careful when you step back. I don't know how they can tell there's a dinosaur in there. I can't make heads or tails of it. I guess that's why they're professional scientists, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, we're coming around to the other side. Oh, R, what's R? That looks like... Extending from the vertebrae Q is a well-preserved rib cage. R, which is... Writing from the Oops, side. sorry. You can see... R I I guess that's a rib cage. 
I can't really tell. Look at you. You looks like something. Right there. See those round backbones. The vertebrae oriented side by side due to water action. So those little Oh right there. I would have just thought they were rocks. rocks. <laughs> by V or cross sections of the ring. That looks like it might be a fossil of some kind. Doesn't it? Or something. So so does this right here. They got signs everywhere saying do not take any fossils. So I would I would assume there's a bunch that, ha that haven't been uh, unearthed completely yet. And that What's this that? is different yeah. from the surrounding. Same with that right there too surrounding area even down in there looks different and that looks like something's petrified yeah right there is that a tooth <laughs> I don't think so but there's this is something. interesting even right there look Oh, that's a different. Yeah. You can almost see different layers, probably, you know, from different centuries or whatever. They've got up earth here, uplifted. Imagine this one time was all ocean. To have a creature that big in here it had to be done. Sure, there's like shells or fossilized Here, it's all embedded. 